Hello, my friend, how are you doing? So um, let's assume that you collected some data and you already inserted your data into SPSS. And to start your analysis, you want to do some basic descriptive um, statistics. So you want to know, for example, the frequency of, res of responses. So for example, let's assume that you measured gender and you want to know what is the percentage of male respondents and percentage of female respondents. Let's assume that you ask them which product they most consume. It was a multiple choice question and you want to know the frequency in which they chose some of these. Um, so I'm going to show you how you can do that. And also, if you measured anything on a scale and you want to know the average answer or the standard deviation or the minimum and maximum or, for example, the means and the modes. Um, so all of these descriptive, I'll show you right now how you can do this really easily. To show you how you can do this, I have here a fictitious data set in which I have four variables. The first one is gender, so either male or female respondents. The second variable is streaming service. So assume that I asked people, what is the music streaming service that they're subscribed to? And here there are three options, which is uh, Spotify, Deezer, and Amazon Music. The third variable is the number of hours that they listen to music in a week. Assume that we check their phones and the number of artists that they have downloaded into their phones. Okay, so how many different artists they usually listen to in a week also. So let's start first with the frequencies and we're going to click here on top on analyze. So all of the analysis in, in, uh, in SPSS starts here with analyze. I'm going to scroll down to descriptive statistics and the first option is frequencies. So I'm going to click here on frequencies. And then this window pops up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag here to this box of variables all of the um, the variables that I want to do the, the frequencies for. So I'm going to choose select here gender and I'm also going to select streaming service because these are the two that are nominal um, variables. So it makes sense to run frequency for them. To simply have a frequency you don't need to click, uh, choose any option, any particular option here. And very importantly, it's already checked by default display frequency tables, and that's what we want. So if you click here in OK, this window here is going to pop up. So we have first the statistics. So it gives us here the end value, which is the sample size. So I have 24 respondents that answer the, the question for gender, 24 that answer for um, the streaming service, and I have no missing values. Here in the bottom, I have the frequency table, so the frequency for gender. So out of these 24 respondents, 15 are male and 9 are female. These are the total value, the total count. Then SPSS will give me the actual percentage. So out of these 24, 15 are 62.5%. These 9 out of 24 are 37.5%. It's also going to give me the, uh, the valid percentage and the cumulative. For the streaming service, I have here Spotify, Deezer, and Amazon. I have 12 respondents out of the 24 that said Spotify. This obviously equals to 50%. These eight that listen to Deezer, that represents 33.3 out of the 24. And four that listen to Amazon Music, those represent 16.7%. And this way you can represent in your study the distribution or the frequency that you have for some of the variables that you have measured, okay? All right, now let's go to the other two variables to see the frequencies and, sorry, not the frequencies, the averages and the standard deviation and other descriptive statistics. So again, I'm going to click here on top on Analyze, scroll down to Descriptive and scroll down once again here to Descriptive Statistics. I'm going to click and this window here pops up. Again, first thing that I'm going to do is drag to the box here variables, the variables that I want to, um, to run the tests for. Here I'm going to select the number of uh, hours that they listen to in a week. And I'm going to select the number of artists that they listen to. Now here, interestingly, I'm going to click on options. And in options, um, I basically need to decide here on which test I want to run. So when you click here on means, yeah, you're going to get your averages. So means and averages being the same thing. Also in the dispersion, so if I want to know the standard deviation, the variance, the range, uh, standard error, uh, the maximum and minimum. So here I'm going to leave standard deviation, minimum and maximum. Um, if I want to see if the data is skewed or not, I can also choose here. 
and the display order if you want it in alphabetical order of the uh, of the variables or ascending means or descending means um, you can also choose here as you want I'm gonna click on continue style and bootstrap um, it's no need here save standardized value as variables if you'd like for the example here I don't need so I'm gonna click here and okay and all right I have here my descriptive table my descriptive first of all I have n which is again my sample size we already know that 24 people answered for uh, music hours per week, 24 answered for the number of artists that have downloaded. Minimum uh, value for uh, number of hours per week. So the from all of the respondents, the one that listens to music the least, listened to 10 hours of music in one week, which is pretty good. And the number of artists, there's there was one respondent that only had downloaded two artists on their phone. For the maximum value, so the person who listened to music the most in a week, listened to 32 hours of music in one week. That's a lot of hours listening to music. I hope that was good music. And the one that downloaded the most amount of artists was the one that listened, um, downloaded 22. Now, the, no, the average number of hours that you had in a week here was 20 hours, uh, 0.5. That is the, uh, the average, almost point six. The average number of hours that they uh, listen to in a week, and the number of the average number of artists that people have in their phone is usually six different artists, which is not a, um, a lot. And we have here obviously the standard deviation for um, music listening to in a week, and also for the artists. So, on a nutshell, my friend, really quickly, if you just want to know um, the distribution or the frequencies of certain variables that you measured, if you want to know. Uh, the means, the standard deviation, uh, minimum and maximum, this is how you would go about it for your analysis, okay? Hopefully that was useful for you. Don't forget in the channel, there's a number of other videos with other tests, chi-square correlation, factor analysis, uh, different types of t-tests, ANOVA, MANOVA, and so on, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to tell all the friends or the students who are running their uh, tests Hopefully, it's going to be helpful for them as well, okay? And for my music recommendation um, this time, I would rec I'm would i going to go for classical music. I would suggest Claire de Lune from Debussy. It's one of the most beautiful melodies of all times, in my humble opinion. Listen to Claire de Lune from Debussy. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it as you run your statistics, okay? All the absolute best, my friend. Take care. And bye-bye.